This will be my first of several videos for customizing your uh, brand new car PC or a uh, new little Android tablet. So I have, uh, I think the DA or DM uh, 5051 or something to the lines of that uh, for my E46, which is a great device. Um, there are, it has some limitations and some weaknesses, but hey, you know what? It's pretty darn good, and I'm really happy with it because the source I care about the most, which is the Google Play Music, sounds the best. So <laughs> if you use that, huge thumbs up. Sounds 10 times better than the OEM. But what this video is about is uh, some customizations. Um, I'm going to do a couple, hopefully, with the FM. This one is around screen brightness, and you'll see I have dim screen here. And why I have that... Let's say you're uh, going you're going home at night. And number one, you know you don't want to go into your settings, go into brightness, change your settings all the way down, and it dims down. And then it's still not all that bright. This is bright enough to be more than a little bit distracting in the car. So I have written a little thing here, and uh, you forgive me if it doesn't work right away because I just fidgeted with the brightness manually, which can mess this up. And you'll see that it slowly dims down and goes almost completely dark. Now, there's only one light in my garage in here, and it's actually getting hard to see. Um, if I hit it again, you'll notice it wakes up a little bit and then comes to full brightness. It doesn't just go bam, hit you right away. You do that again. Goes dim, wakes up a little bit, wakes up a little bit more. So uh, I will probably be adding um, additional filters in here to do based on time of day. Uh, that's a little bit more than I'm into it right now, but this utilizes a couple of things. Um, it uses Tasker, uh, which if you haven't purchased Tasker, it's like $6. Yes, it's an expensive app. Totally worth it. You will love it um, if, you, if you like to geek out and tweak with stuff. The other one is a program called uh, Screen Filter. It's completely free on the market. Um, open source. It's awesome. So inside of Tasker, I have a task set up that says if the brightness is 10 um, and uh, set the screen filter to 54%, wait one second, then set it to 100%, wait a couple hundred milliseconds, set the brightness to full, full power. Uh, else, uh, brightness set the brightness to level 10 and your brightness level inside of here on both of them, you do have to disable safeguards. Um, otherwise, it just doesn't work. Um, and then set the screen filter to 10, so darken the screen. Basically, we're saying, if it's currently dim, light it up. If it's currently bright, dim it down. Now, if you're not in one of these two states, it will not do anything. So basically, you're in manual mode, and the easiest way is just to set your brightness to maximum. Um, you can disable this, but I was having some weird issues with it. Um, so I'm going to um, probably post the export from this. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, and then you can you can create a, a, a task or shortcut. Um, basically, you go, you, go um, you long press essentially, and I think you got a widget, and then you go to tasker shortcut and you drag that somewhere and then it's <coughs> error something okay i don't know what that was let's try it again data block please return to the main app next oh <laughs> can't do it while you're inside tasker so I, I didn't know that so widget tasker shortcut drop a shortcut and then it's going to walk you through which task you want to use. Mine stem screen and then choose an icon for it. I've already chosen an icon. Bam, bam. There you should go. There's your dim screen icon. I'm going to get rid of that because I've already got one. And there you go. There's your dim, dim screen. It gets the screen nice and dark. Uh, later videos, I hope to have good integration between the FM tuner, which is a little bit lacking, to be uh, to be fair, uh, and they're not really um, open on being able to configure the input. So I might completely disable their inputs and kind of take over them myself, um, but I'm not sure if I can do that. Uh, one other task I have set up here is um, my boot up tasks. 
because I again I don't particularly like the the remember this or that. So I set my my boot up task, which starts with the system, sets my medium vol media volume to three, um, launches Google Play, waits three seconds. Important. Um, it will not be ready to t accept the play music command, which is perform task play music, and yeah, that's that's it. You know, set medium to three. Launch Google Play. Wait three seconds. Hit the play button. Um, this is true for any media app. So if you like Spotify or your, um, you like the built-in music or whatever, whatever app you like, you know Pandora. If you've got internet in here, which I'm going to be putting a hotspot into my trunk because uh, I can get a T-Mobile hotspot for free um, with a limited amount of bandwidth, which is more than enough for me. And um, or for 10 bucks, they'll match your data plan. So if you have T-Mobile and T-Mobile's good in your area, uh, highly recommended because um, I know my T-Mobile mobile here in Portland, Oregon screams and runs circles around the competition, which is sad because it's 30 bucks a month. Um, so, uh, yeah, more to come. I'm going to get uh, some FM uh, or I'm really trying to get the FM integration. Uh, whoa. Um, what I'm also going to do is on my second screen, I'm going to add task or shortcuts to launch Google Play and go to a particular play playlist. So if you want to listen to rock or this or that, I'm going to have buttons here set up that just do it. Um, so Tasker's a little bit programmy, um, but well worth your effort. All right, guys, uh, this is getting, I'm ranting, so I'm going to cut this short and uh, wish you the best of luck later off.